we will see a rear suspensions, a live axle. Uh, we see on the left, that's like a rear differential with conventional maybe uh, coil springs, could use leaf springs, trailing arms or something to keep the, uh, the suspension from going horizontal left to right, keep it firmly underneath the vehicle square. Independent rear axles, they can be used for both front wheel drive vehicles, all wheel drive vehicles, four wheel drive vehicles, even rear wheel drive vehicles with CV joint type shafts between the differential and the wheels. But regardless, the suspension systems will have a spring and shock assembly separately or could have a coil over strut type of assembly. But you'll have an independent left to right movement, completely independent, with a sway bar to couple between the two. We'll talk more about sway bars coming up. Basic type layouts of suspension systems, this one being very popular with rear wheel drive, heavier vehicles, that's called the Pennard arm and they're, they're mostly used for rear type of suspension systems, coil and springs, airbags. If you have leaf springs, typically there's no need for that because they're going to be more rigid for horizontal left to right movement. So you'll see those on a lot of vehicles as well. A little further information on the topic of a live or solid rear axle. If you've got that ring and pinion back in that rear differential, it, if you do not have leaf springs, there's a tendency to have a lateral movement if you're using springs or air springs uh, for your suspension system. So to keep the live axle or that rear differential in the center, we use something called a panard bar. The panard bar is an integral part of keeping things for the rear of your alignment in place. So keep that in mind. 